Hello box headers, welcome to another instruction video. This one's the third of three um, for, yes, Doctor Strange there who's waggling his arms at you. Um, this one's for the, um, the base. So we've got our, um, our, our, our the base in the um, time stone necklace. Um, so we've got two, um, two parts to the base. And then we've got the um, time stone necklace in the middle that I've just started to cut there, as you can see. Just around there, a tricky little curve bit. And I'm going to cut straight down the middle there. Let's move uh, move the tape out of the way there, so I've got a bit of room. I'm going to go straight down the middle there, cut out those all the separate elements, and then um, that makes cutting each of those out a lot easier or cutting out the sort of like the tricky little little bits. Anyway we're going to um, continue with the base and cut in around that tab there. And so this is just a little a base a, a, a little stand that um, Doctor Strange can um, can be perched on, can be propped on, with the Sanctum Santorium symbol in in the in the background and also um, at his feet as well, at his at the yeah at his action boots. If you've watched the other instruction videos, that will make sense. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, the, the base and stand is fairly straightforward to sort of cut out and then fold and stick together as well. It's just basically um, a, a bit of a bit of a box or a box lid shape. That tab that I'm cutting out there, there's four of those. They just fold and, and tuck inside the uh, blue sides. Keeping a nice tidy craft area there. Getting rid of the white bits of paper that we don't need. And making that last cut on the inside there. And then we can put our scissors down. And we can do a bit of folding. So we've got some long folds to do on here. And of course I start with a little short fold there. That tab. Then we've got this long one as well. Now you might find it easier to um, lay your paper flat on the table, um, but for me, sort of holding it like this works. You, you guys can see it a little bit better as well. Um, and it doesn't need to be one of those sharp folds as well, where you run your fingernail down it. It can just sort of be a bit of a bend, and then you can see there how those red tabs tuck inside um, and just give the um, give the base, give the stand a bit more um, structure and support and get rid, gets rid of gaps as well. Um, so yeah, just making those long folds all the way around. Um, as I say, you can use sort of have the paper flat on the table if you wish um, or you can um, do as I'm doing which is just bending that paper Around the dotted line, dotted line in, indicates fold, dotted line means fold, um, and then yeah, once you've done that, we'll be uh, on all four sides. I've got one more side to do, yeah, that's the last side. Bend that around, give it a bit of a pinch, and that's ready to be stuck together. Like so. So just four bits of tape on each on each corner will do the trick. Um, and although it sort of like looks fairly simple and straightforward, still take your time to line things up and make sure everything um, comes together. There we go, we've got the last one to tuck in 
on the sides there and you'll notice sort of like the I sort of wish I'd maybe done a um, um, floorboards and then it looks like he's, he's sort of stood in the Sanctum Santorium um, but anyway I'd, I'd sort of match the details to match his, match his clothes and his, uh, the cloak of levitation uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that in the future with the next Doctor Strange movie. Is there going to be another one? I don't know. Um, may, may, maybe if Marvel sort of um, picks up the license for this, then then they'll want they'll want me to do exactly what um, they want. Anyway, we're. Um, just losing my train of thought there. We're um, cutting out the, um, we're separating the um, the mind stone part from the other part of the um, base, um, which is this, um, it's all in one piece, similar to, um, similar to the ears and um, with the bits and pieces it's just fold, going to fold in on itself so you get a flat um, front and a back to it it's not really overly three-dimensional um, but yeah you can see in the middle there you can see those dotted lines where it folds um, back over itself Just taking our time to trim around those curves. Curves always a, a, um, a lot smoother if you hold those scissors nice and straight and move the paper around the scissors. Get a nice um, smooth curve in your cut. And all the way along the final side, follow those um, solid grey silver lines. And then there's just a few um, a few bits to fold on here. So we've got that middle one there where it um, bends and folds round so that the symbol is on the front and the back. And you can just point it out there that you might want to trim some of those um, white bits off um, if they stick out too much and then we've just got a couple of folds for sort of the, the, um, the base of the symbol and that part is going to get stuck to um, the base that we um, stuck and folded together just before and I'm just sticking down the um, The symbol, so it doesn't flap all over the place. Just pointing out there, so you're just trimming off sort of any sort of like little white bits, just getting those corners even smoother than they were before, and then um, sticking those those sides sort of together. Just a little bit more. white to trim off and then we can um, stick it to one end or the other of our um, of our stand so again a bit more tape I'm using tape because it's the quicky, quickest and least messy um, sticky thing to stick things with for these videos um, and you might need yeah I think I'm going to need another bit of tape on the back there just to make sure that that sticks down properly and stays in place a couple more bits of tape um, but yeah, yeah, sellotape is sort of like the quickest and least messy way to stick things together for these paper toys. Um, I, I often use a hot glue gun, but obviously you need to um, be confident in um, using that. But yeah, there we go, we've got Doctor Strange 
stood on his stand. Can you see that? I can angle it up a little bit, like so, so you can see how he how he goes on there. Um, but before we're finished, the last last piece, last part, is um, the time stone necklace, and is sort of three parts to this I guess. There's the actual locket itself that's down there and then this part that I'm cutting out here at the moment, this is the um, the chain for the locket. And there's two sides to it, um, two long rectangles that get folded in half again so that we've got a colour on both sides. So we've got some nice folds just to bend and then once we're happy with it we can pinch it together properly. One is for one side and one is for the other. I'm just sort of um, going over those folds so the paper's a bit more um, a bit more manageable, a bit more supple so that it can, it's got a bit more of a twist and a bend to it. That'll become a, a bit more, um, you'll see what I mean a bit better when we're actually made up the um, the locket as well. But yeah, just sort of pinching and bending and twisting those two pieces. We've got a few more bits to trim off our locket, which is going to fold up into a, um, a cube. We'll trim those bits off there and the I suppose the fold lines don't really um, come up very well on the video the the fairly obvious when you've um, printed the the paper toy but I guess sort of like that um, that sort of gray gold color you can't they don't show up as, as well on the video but we've got some fold lines to make um, around here to make up our locket Try and get a bit closer so that you can see. Oh, it's a little bit better. You can sort of see where those fold lines are. And again, we're just sort of like bending the paper and then pinching when we've got it along that dotted line. And then these the, these the side parts of the locket. There, you can see the time stone in there. And then yeah, you can see those um, fold lines a little bit better when I move it closer some tabs that tuck in on the inside bend those around a bit as well and then all those folds that we've made sort of once you sort of push the paper toy together it makes the shape fairly obvious I'm ready to stick the the main body, the main part of the locket together and then those two side bits just tuck in we just need a couple of um, bits of tape on there now I've got one there on the main part and one on the other side and you can, t you can tape up the other sort of like little gaps that you've got but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use those gaps to slot in the chain. So I've got one on one side. It can go all the way through. Can't it? It can. Yes. Push it through. Boom. Have a fiddle. Take it, take it out a bit and sort of bend and twist it a little bit more if you need to. Um, and tape it down. So that it doesn't uh, it doesn't split, but yeah, you can you can have a bit like that where the where you've got a chain on both sides. Or I think what I'm going to do is you can have just one chain which slides all the way through. And if we lie Doctor Strange down, that's why I've not stuck his head on yet. It's because we're going to get this um, this chain locked on. You can have it going through his collar. Or on the inside of its collar as well, and you can use either either just one, or you can use both. And you can, if you're using both, you've got a bit more, a few more options. You can stick it down. You can stick it to the inside of his neck like that, with both of them there, and then the locket comes down at the front. Uh, 
um, but I'm going to just use the the um, the one I think the one chain. So we'll slide that through and then bend and twist it round so that the locket will sit sort of flush on his chest. And where am I going to stick that? I'm going to stick that on the under, underside of his neck there, am I? I need a bit more bending of that chain. A little bit of tape for the other side of the chain. I think this works. Oops. There we go. I'm just one. I'm just a bit worried now watching this over again and commentating on it. I'm just a bit worried about how his beard's going to fit in there, but obviously it does. It's a bit more sort of tweaking and bending and folding there. There we go. Oh, his his beard slots in nicely there. Look, slots in between. <laughs> his beard slots in between the uh, locket and his. Um, He's locking in his body. Um, anyway, so now we're going to stick his um, his head there, and I'm looping a bit of tape so that um, it'll stick to sort of like the body there, the neck part of the body, and then when we slot in the head, that'll stick down on the other side there. See, so it all slots in nicely, and you get a little bit of a wobble to it as well. Um, but yeah, there's our Doctor Strange with Time Stone. Cloak of levitation and um, and a stand, a base. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun crafting and keep an eye out for other Marvel characters in the range. And um, we'll just let's take take the camera out and then we can get a nice close up, proper view of, of Doctor Strange's. There's two of them. Happy crafting, box editors.